Hi, this is Dr. Brian Walsh, member of the research and development team with ProGrade. A lot of people are interested in anti-aging today, but despite what you've seen on the internet or read uh, in a book by a celebrity or maybe seen in the media, anti-aging has less to do with your hormones as it has more to do with your actual brain function. And if you're having brain issues, things like maybe memory issues or cognition or thinking or focus or attention, maybe you have some subtle things like mild depression, or maybe you're concerned about things like Parkinson's or Alzheimer's, Omega-3 fatty acids, specifically EPA and DHA, have been found to be very beneficial in brain health. And here's exactly how these things work. Now, for nerves to work correctly, you really need two things. One is you need to have appropriate nutrients, oxygen, glucose, and those types of things to get to the actual nerves themselves in order for the nerves to do what they do. The second thing you need, however, is notice that nerves don't actually touch. Nerves come close together, and there's a space in between called the synaptic cleft. What happens is you have things like neurotransmitters that are uh, like serotonin, dopamine, acetylcholine, norepinephrine. And what happens is when the impulse comes down this nerve, these vesicles or sacs containing neurotransmitters go to the surface of the nerve and then the contents of that neurotransmitter are released across the synaptic cleft, picked up by this nerve, which then stimulates it to send its impulse to a muscle or to an organ or to another nerve. Now, Here's how EPA and DHA can help with overall brain function. Again, if all you're interested in is maybe helping your memory, cognition, focus, and attention, maybe decreasing symptoms of depression, or maybe even preventing things like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. EPA specifically, in some studies, has been suggested to actually increase the blood flow to the brain. This is important because, again, nerves need things like oxygen and glucose and nutrients in order to function properly. But even if the nerves are functioning properly, we still need to get these neurotransmitters across. Your brain function is only as healthy as your ability to actually release these neurotransmitters to the next neuron. DHA is found in the greatest quantities in the body, in the brain, and in the eyes. So in the brain, DHA seems to actually make these vesicles, these membranes that are surrounded by fat, to actually fuse with the end of the nerve better and release their neurotransmitters even better than in the absence of DHA. So EPA helps increase blood flow, bring, bringing things like oxygen, glucose, and nutrients, and DHA helps to release the neurotransmitters more efficiently and more effectively across the synaptic cleft, keeping this uh, communication between nerves to be more uh, functional and healthy. So if you're interested in decreasing uh, your aging, in uh, improving brain function, everything again from depression and memory and focus and attention or pre pre preventing things like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's, then omega-3 fatty acids, specifically EPA and DHA, may be just what you're looking for. I hope you found this video helpful and thank you very much for your time.